Middle school in a nutshell. Middle school is just an awkward place, bro. Like, middle school dances, awkward. Middle school speeches, awkward. And middle school relationships, in my experience, is the most awkward thing on the face of this planet. I mean, this reminds me of this high school relationship. I remember I would go to this, uh, go to this one class, and there was this two Hispanic, it was this Hispanic, uh, friends who would make out before, during, after class. And, and y'all know the stereotypes in Disney movies or any type of movies where it's like that couple making out in the locker? That's exactly what they were. But they never said they were a couple. You would ask them and they'd be like, oh, we're just friends. I see your tongue deep in his mouth every single fucking day. We were both car riders. Y'all go home together. Are you sure you're just friends? Y'all either are a couple or siblings. There's no in between. I mean, the girl's a whole foot taller, got a deeper voice, and shit, she could probably bench more than you, little bro. Like, I hate to break it to you, but you don't got a girlfriend. There was a relationship like this, too. a girlfriend, bro. Middle school just occurs at- I remember she sat on his lap in class and broke the chair. Middle school was an interesting time. Yes, she was huge. She was like, she was like 5'11", 6 foot, 285. The chairs that they made for the middle school students wasn't built for no big bodies. So you have him who's weighing like 150 plus the 285. That's a magnitude three earthquake. The craziest time in a teenager's life. Cause motherfuckers is just getting slapped by puberty out of nowhere. You'll be walking down the halls and see a bunch of kids who look fresh out of daycare. Then all of a sudden you'll see a grown ass man built like Shaquille O'Neal thumping his way down to math class. And attendance in middle school was looking like Matthew, uh, uh, uh here. George, present. Daisy, here. Uh, Owen, here. Dude's balls would be dropping halfway through presenting their speech like. Yeah, middle school was a wild time. I remember when I, I, I left one of my middle schools and on, on the way out, you know, you had to get, you had to get si something signed from all your teachers letting you know that you were moving, right? And they like, this guy came up and he wrote on my hand with makeup uh, his phone number and said, now call me maybe he had lipstick on. I don't know what was happening that day. I must have missed some type of event. Because cause we were friends, because I would talk to him. We were friends. We would sit each other at lunch. And then one day, he just wearing makeup with, with lipstick on, right in my, on my hand, wrist, whatever, with lipstick. And I'm like, ha! I'm glad I'm out of here, because what would have happened to me if I would have stayed? <laughs> I'll probably be asleep. He writing, he's, he's circling around my booty hole with lipstick. No, I don't want a red target on my buns, bro. Leave my hole alone. Like, and this is specifically why dinosaur, <coughs> why dinosaur, <coughs> why dinosaurs went what extinct. The fuck? And in middle school, nobody had drip. Like, dudes would be showing up. Not a zesty walker. What do you mean a zesty walker? I just told y'all a story on how I, I how I got. I, I don't even know the. Was that sexual harassment? I don't know. I I let it happen because I was so. Com Have y'all ever had someone write? their number on you with lipstick and better yet it was a man and you're not gay i was blown i was confused <laughs> i'm like what the fuck is happening up to school in a neon green t-shirt paired with some bright red shoes looking like a fucking traffic light well their haircuts looking like their barber cut their shit with one hand well blindfolded but to be fair everyone had a shitty haircut in middle school bro fair. And if you think your cut wasn't that bad in middle school chances are your shit's probably still ass to this day and just to make things worse the cherry on top is that everybody's got acne there's just all these hormones flying around I, I and think, these kids have no clue what to do with them i think Agni hit me a little later. I feel like I got hit more in uh, high school, like the like high school. I think Agni hit me. Which is exactly why middle school beef is unmatched, bro. Motherfuckers will be throwing hands for no reason at all. And I don't know how, but somehow even the fights were awkward. It would be like, hey, pal, I heard you sat beside my crush in class today. So what? You want to fight about it? Uh, <laughs> I mean, I mean, <laughs> like if you wanted to. 
that like I'm, I'm not scared like yeah we, we can fight okay let, let's freaking go pussy fuck i wasn't ready sorry, sorry was that too soon no shit sherlock okay you can hit me back so we're even what, what if is two happening? dudes were throwing hands and their crush is watching they're about to fight to the death but the thing is about middle school fights I, I didn't know this was possible but somehow both motherfuckers end up losing the fight i remember one lunch at my middle school a dude was see the thing with middle school fights middle school fights uh they were they were a tiny bit different because a lot of middle school fights turned into after school um extracurricular activities that may or may not get someone locked up you know either here or there i, I and i'm in middle school i'm i'm sitting here I'm I'm chilling, 12 years old. I'm like, y'all niggas got guns? The fuck you get a gun for? Why? What, what do you need a gun for? We are we are you are barely you barely understand your multiplication tables. You you don't need a gun. My nigga. Like what? You couldn't read three pages of a Harry Potter book, but you're out here playing with guns. Out some boxing gloves for no reason at all, and all of a sudden we're running a whole fight club. Kids will be betting their lunch money on who's gonna win and shit, but we never laid down any ground rules. So one day JJ hit Timmy with a spinning back fist and put his ass to sleep. And I'm hyped because I just doubled my lunch money, but Mr. Principal didn't seem too hyped to see one of his students knocked out on the ground. So of course JJ gets in trouble because he's just that one kid who's always in trouble but never got expelled. Like I could have swore dude was on his third strike five strikes ago but man middle school had some characters bro there was that one guy that would walk through the halls blast the music on his speaker the, the thing is my the person who did that in my school actually turned out to be a pretty successful rapper and then things happen but he actually like 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 he wasn't a wannabe like the nigga, the nigga, the nigga was on the way to making it. The kid who used to sit in his chair like this, the dude who hit puberty and midlife at the same time. <laughs> uh, Mr. Donaldson, can, can I get some help on the subtraction? <laughs> Help on the subtraction? You look more like you need help on your taxes. <laughs> no, subtraction's just hard for me. During recess, do you go check on the wife and kids? No, I, I just play on the monkey bars. Tell me, how do you manage to be in middle? What do you mean monkey bars? We didn't have no recess in middle school. That was so dumb to me, too. Why can't we have recess in middle school? I'm still a kid. I know. I'll be thinking about uh, Asian schooling, bro. How often they're in school. And sometimes, and somehow some schools have six-day school weeks. They, they gotta be depressed. They probably not. They probably used to it. But they probably didn't have no recess. Hey, do I have anyone in Asia in chat? Do y'all have recess? Middle school and work a nine to five job at the same time. <laughs> the girl who thinks she's a horse, the emo kid, catch him in the back of the class with his hoodie tied up. Watching I don't know why I asked y'all. I don't even know if some of y'all are in Asia for real. I, don't, I can't listen to a word y'all say. Sad Bart Simpson edits. The kid who had to touch the top of the door frame. I'm talking about, I'm not talking about middle school recess, by the way, my fellow Asians. Fellow, y'all not my fellows, y'all. I'm not Asian. Uh, I'm talking about uh, elementary school or whatever y'all may call elementary. I'm playing the video. Um, girls who have to bring their Starbucks cup everywhere. The dude who's constantly emoting. And in order to find the answer, we can make a grid. Did, did someone say gritty? Right foot creep. Ooh, walking with that heat. Of course, there's the kid who Naruto runs through the hallway. And then there's that weird ass kid who accidentally called his social studies teacher mom one time. <laughs> <laughs> it was probably an accident though <laughs> fuck and i have no i know i think i've accidentally said i love you on the phone to a few people because i was just i always i'm so used to saying it to my mom or whoever i'm on the phone with i'm usually talking to family so i'd be like bye i love you i've said it a few times i think i said it to my uh to my tax guy i think i said it to a coach Sometimes I ca sometimes I'm in the middle of saying it and I catch myself so I just end the call before I finish it. No idea why, but there's something about teaching middle school that had all these teachers going through a midlife crisis. I remember one day our science teacher was teaching us about rainbows. Th does anyone know what a rainbow is? Yes, Jaden. Refraction of light through water droplets. Oh wow, that's right. How did you know that? Reddit. Oh okay. Where did you read it? Reddit. Yeah, but where did you read it? 
Reddit. Jaden, I can't <laughs> do this right now. Just, just tell me where you found this information. R Reddit? God damn it, Jackson. You're the reason my children get their shit whooped every night. Now, I don't know what she had going on in her life, but the way she broke down talking about beating her children to a group of 12-year-olds really gave me the impression that she shouldn't be teaching middle schoolers, bro. And I don't know who was in charge of hiring these teachers, but I also had a deaf teacher, which, you know, is cool and all, but it, it did make it a little bit harder considering the fact that, uh, you know... She was the fucking music teacher, not to mention the f <laughs> hey, that's that nigga Beethoven. The fact that she was also ha yeah, she had uh Beethoven, to Be Beethovenia, Beethoven, Beethoven, Beethoven. <laughs> half blind and i think the idea there was that she could somehow feel the vibrations of the guitar or something which didn't seem to work too well considering the fact that i got a fucking a in music and i can't play the guitar for shit but i guess uh, i guess i just like i smelled good or something i don't know and i don't know about y'all's experiences but i feel like kids were just mad touchy in middle school like you'd be sitting in math class minding your own business then for no reason at all a motherfucker would tase you in the side of the ribs what? What? Who? What are you talking about? The fuck? And I remember what when kids first school? learned about these pressure points. What do y'all mean facts? Funny games. Someone would just poke you in the ribs like a pressure ah. point that tickles. Then there would be a new pressure point that dropping happened. every week. It got to the point where these 12 year olds were hitting pressure point combinations and paralyzing your legs and shit. Hey bro, let me try this new pressure point on you. Yeah. It, it's not. It's because of Avatar though. Cause you know Avatar, I forgot which goal it was, but she just hit all your pressure points and you just you just flopped. I've been I wanted to do that so badly. I'm sitting here like, how the fuck she? Yeah, and you just. I think it was one of the girls rocking with Azula. I don't remember her name though. Sure, go for it. Ah, <laughs> it tickles. <laughs> Exactly. It was the same shit with this game. Like, you really couldn't trust anybody, bro. Yo, what's that on my legs? Shit. Got him. Oh, shit. There's a bug on you. That God, happened a lot, me. too. Dumbass. Oh, fuck. I just broke my leg. Bro, I'm not stupid. You didn't just break your leg. No, no, no. I'm serious, bro. I promise. On everything. On my entire life. I just broke my leg. Look. Bro. Yeah, they'll sit there and put it on everything. And I'm just, I'm looking like, yep, nigga. <laughs> You're going to hell. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be like, you like, on my mama. <laughs> Your mama's dead. She's gonna die now. Why do y'all put things on everything? I don't understand. I, I never got that. Oh, I remember I got punched so many times. My arm was Thank on you, life Chris, support. It was about to fall stuff. off. Like, ah. Uh... And thinking back to middle school, there's just so many things that make me cringe, bro. But by far the cringiest of them all is the relationships, man. And believe it or not, I had my fair share of middle school relationships. I remember one day I was sitting in class and this girl came up to me and said, Chains, uh, I, I have a crush on you. And that's really all it took to have a young Chains in love. Head over heels. We went to the movies together. We, we went to my house and watched movies. Uh, well, we went to her house and... Uh, we also watch movies. N now that I think about it, all we really did was watch movies. Yeah, there's not we much didn't really to do. talk that much. I, I mean, I didn't really have a way with my words at the age of 12. <laughs> so, uh, did, do you like movies? <laughs> I mean, yeah. there's not much to do. Your parents have to drive you everywhere. So, like, it just makes it, it makes it a very time inconvenience because you have to wait for both of your parents to be free and then you have to be free, not have homework, so on and so forth, and things of that nature. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I like movies too. That, that that's why we're here uh, at the movie theater. <laughs> what do y'all like mean? Is that all, nigga? They're twelve. The fuck y'all want them to do? Skydive? What? Um, with the butter, it, it tastes like I, I like how it tastes. And one day we went to the mall, and I took a good look at my girlfriend of two weeks and thought. Man, I don't even know this girl. Like, like, who are you? I remember we were inside Zoomies at the time, and I said, Hey, Jessica, um, you're a great person and all, but I don't really think we're compatible like that. Maybe we should just break up. Which was probably the most words I've strung together during the entirety of our relationship. And she says with the straightest face, Oh, okay. And then we proceeded to walk out of the mall and bus what home together fuck? without saying a word. And I remember lying in my bed that night and thinking to myself, damn, I, 
I think I'm supposed to be sad right now. So I threw on my hoodie, tied it up, and watched some sad Bart Simpson edits. I was like, the first thing he did was listen to X. That was the first thing he played. Oh, he, he threw on X and, and pretended to be sad. 